Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to use ThingMaker V2.0. I'm going to start with downloading, and I'm going to go all the way to the finish of making your first theme. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Chrome browser, and I'm going to go to the web redpoisonjb.com website. So redpoisonjb.com. And if you want, you can do slash ThingMaker but it just redirects you to the same website and here's our nice website uh, right here you can just click the arrow and click download but that it doesn't really give you much information on it but if you scroll down on our site and our site is mobile friendly so you can visit this site on your iPad um, Android, phone, tablet, whatever, iPhone, and if you scroll down to Red Poison Theme Maker and click it, it gives you a little slideshow of the program of all the screenshots we have, and then it gives you another download button, and also gives you things that we did. So right here's the download button, and also gives you a couple of things of what's in it and what's to come. So I'm going to download it now. so it's loading and it's already downloaded we have a pretty fast server so it shouldn't take long to download and it's all hosted on our website so I'm gonna go ahead and open it and I'm gonna click run and a lot of times the viruses virus removals will remove it and it's not a virus I'm running it right now I'm about to show you it's definitely not a virus but Norton and a lot of things they don't they don't really like it I don't know why I think I have to submit it to their website but that's another day but right now I'm just showing you how it works so here's the terms of use uh, please agree if you want to use it so I'm going to click continue and now this will never pop up again okay and here is the setup so it's really just basic setup until we have more advanced features but I promise you there will be more features in here and you just have to work with me request things that I'm, I'm open to opinions my whole team is open to it so you just ask me for something and we will really consider it and talk about why it's good and why it's not so just go ahead and comment below or go ahead and uh, contact me on Twitter or at the bottom of the website we're always open to everything so now when you click start it's gonna go ahead and open up the initial program now this program has a, had a lot of stages and it's changed a lot so if you really want to look at the old one, um, I can provide an old copy in the description to show you how much it changed from V2.0 from V1.0. So starting with the look, everything is is the same now. Before everything was off, and it really just looked like a, a, cr a crummy program. Now everything's together. It's all like, and thanks to my designers and all, they they really helped this happen. And I really suggest you donate. It really helps us a lot, domain and all. So that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Winterboard Theme Maker. And the Winterboard Theme Maker has been around since V1.0. I mean, it's the same. It's just layout wise has changed. And this was not around in 1.0. The little scroll bar at the bottom was not. So for this, I'm going to do Theme Test. And you can press Enter or you can click Start. And. I didn't think about that but my recording is a little too small for it so right now I can fit everything in it but the bottom so this is what's new I'm just gonna point that out this is new and it's in, it's in everything that you can edit so this is the new stuff so we're not gonna worry about that right now I'm just gonna show you the main features that are added to it so here we have you can edit the theme name which uh, a lot of people requested because they accidentally named the theme the wrong thing and I'm working on a save script so it, it helps so now I can rename it to let's say theme maker test and I click done and it refreshes the program and adds that but does not change your icons so I'm gonna go ahead and make a simple theme and show you how to upload to our theme store so this is gonna be a second part that I'm gonna cut out for another video to show people but you can still watch along if you want so I'm going to go ahead and pick some icons that I already have um, made for theme maker so they're not 120 by 120 but they should be you should always have them 120 by 120 if not please use the imagery sizer to use it 
So I'm going to go ahead and click the CC controls icon for it. I'm going to use that for Flappy Birds. I'm going to use it for Google Plus. And I'm not really going to use this. So anyways, so that's that. And another feature I want to add in V2.1 is the um, wallpaper cause, and badges. Wallpaper and badges is the main thing that I want to get into the Renderboard theme maker. But there's also the Zeppelin theme maker. So I'll get, I'll get into that after this. So now, after that, I'm going to go ahead and click build at the bottom. Build Winterboard theme. And animating is what I really like. So it does have some animations. It just tells you the same thing I just said. It does have some neat little animations like this. I love the Windows 8 animation. So I decided to find a GIF on it. And I customized the to fit theme maker. So now it's done. And it makes a folder on your desktop. So I'm going to click done. I'm going to go on my desktop. And theme maker test right there. So in theme maker test, you'll find a folder named bundles, and you'll find the two of them. So com.docs.flap is the bundle ID for uh, Flappy Birds, and that is the same for Google Plus. So that's that. So this is basically how you submit your theme to the theme store. You right click it. After you built it, you right click it, and you click send to compressed zip folder, and it's going to quickly send it to a folder. And I recommend keeping the dot theme extension. You don't have to. And I'm going to go over to upload theme to the store. And I'm done, so I don't have to save it. So I'm going to click yes. So now I'm going to wait for it to load. And here it is. So I'm going to enter my name, which is Jonathan Dolby. I'm going to enter my email, which is Jonathan Dolby at redpoisonjb.com and there's a little lag there because I'm recording so just one second okay I paused it I'm not gonna lie I paused it there real quick but it just loaded a little bit it, it paused and I didn't want my computer to freeze so that's that so now I'm gonna enter my email which is Jonathan Dolby at redpoisonjb.com It's a little behind. <laughs> and then I'm going to enter my theme name. I'm just going to name it CCC Controls. And then for version, I'm just going to put V1.0.1. And for my Twitter name, I'll put at Dolby. If you don't have a Twitter name, you can leave that blank. It's only if you have a Twitter name. And for a description, I'm going to just put this is a test. And a smiley face. And for select files to upload, go ahead and click that. And it should open a file browser. And once it opens the file browser, you can go ahead and browse to the folder theme maker and find the zipped folder that was created. So I'm waiting right now for that to happen. Okay, and now that it's loaded, I'm going to go to my desktop. And go to the folder named Theme Maker. Uh, well, apparently I cannot find it, so I'm going to go ahead and search for it. If my computer doesn't freeze like it just did. Okay, now I'm in the folder where my zipped up theme is waiting to be uploaded to my theme store so I'm going to go ahead and click open and that is going to upload the file to our server when this bar is full you can click submit so now I'm waiting for it to fill and it is done so now I'm going to click submit and that is it um, it has a timer so when that timer is done it sends it so you know it's been sent so I know I receive it now if you do not fill up all the forms I will not receive it so that I will also delete any files that I get without a received form so that's just something to take into consideration so now after that we have the Zeppelin theme maker okay so right now it's loading the application and we're waiting. I'm gonna pause the video until it comes up. Oh, there it is. Never mind. So here it is once again. 
So now I'm going to click the Zeppelin theme maker. And this one is a little bit different since you don't really have a name. It's not really in a group in Zeppelin. So instead each icon has a name. So you can name your icons. And then you need to select one for a light background and a dark background. Now this is the same procedure to upload to the theme store. Except it adds it to a folder named Zeppelin. And you can zip the folder named Zeppelin. And I will get all of that. So that is about it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I encourage you to download it. I love developing for all of you. It's very fun. It's interesting, and it, but it's hard. It's definitely hard, and there's definitely a lot of comments on everything. And I do take everything into consideration. Like If you look at the old guy, it looked very bad, but it looked good at first. But then it looked bad when someone told me, and I realized that. I, will, I realize things, so please tell me if anything's not there. In betas, I do release betas to the public sometimes, not all the time, as it really is a bad reputation when you release a beta. Even though they like it, what happens in the beta isn't what they want it, and then that causes something there. So, again, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.